What up, you two? Bart, 49ers Corner, coming at you with a pretty good mail day today. Um, got some neat stuff and some sweet vintage. Uh, starting to get this room kind of populated with some crap. Uh, this is, It's not going to stay this way just because I'm cramming all kinds of stuff in and I'm changing the layout as we speak. But let's see what we got. We've got about 50-some McFarlane figures over there. Got some stuff on the, the wall there. I got so much stuff that I can't put up either that I'm trying to figure it all out. It's a nice beer fridge from college. I'll bet most of you wish you still had yours. Uh, I got all kinds of figurines and crap like that. Um, starting lineups and stuff like that. And there's my sweet storage room back there. You work with me here. I'm playing with this iPad and trying to look at it. But got all kinds of stuff there. Um, I'm gonna try to change it up though even from this, uh, kind of got a lot of stuff that I had when I was younger, you know, 12, 15 years old or something like that, so I'm going to weed out some of that stuff, like today I threw out like 40, 50 Wheaties boxes, uh, just because I was tired of carrying them around and stuff like that, and uh, I'll continue to get rid of the Knicks and Knacks, you know, I have a lot of stuff and I'm not, you know, I don't keep them for the resale value or anything like that, especially like the fi uh, figurines and stuff like that. Uh, that's why I take them out of the package because, well, one, I don't want to worry about, uh, you know, dent in a package or something like that. There's no fun in that. Um, I just like the look of the, ca the figurines and whatnot. So uh, we'll see. But I also want to get some of those, you know, nicer uh, frames that you put the graded cards in um, you know, and display some of my stuff. Uh, and since I live on base now, uh, shouldn't be too many people trying to break in. Um, so, you know, I don't have to keep them in the safe or whatever. I can kind of put stuff on display. So, uh, you'll see this start to morph as we go through different uh, whatever. But, got a good mail day for you. Uh, I'm trying to make this too long. The first chunk here is four, eight, about 11 cards, just Joe Montana. There's a registry set called Joe Montana Basic Set, um, and these all belong to it. There's uh, it's 94 Select. These are all PSA 10s. 94 Fleer. 94 Stadium Club. 95 Finest. Always like those. 93 Bowman. 94. Four Pinnacle, ninety-three Ultra. That's back in the day when Ultra was like the nicest thing you could ever get. Ninety-one Pro Set, ninety-three Score, Score here. Okay. Ninety-four Upper Deck, ninety-three Select. Those are the Joes. Um, here's two pretty. Pretty big cards. Um, this one here brought me out of a funk, uh, which only lasted like a day, which was nice. Because, uh, you know, you have, everybody's got a couple cards that, you, you know, you probably missed out on or something at some point, And you're like, you know, man, I'm not going to miss out on that again. Um, one of them popped up, and it was the 85 Tops uh, Ronnie Lott uh, PSA 10. Uh, not a lot of PSA 10s coming out of 85. Um, and so it was a pop of 6. Uh, so I missed out on it. Uh, it just went for. Not only did it quadruple in the last second, honestly, um, but I had a huge bid on it and I still lost. Uh, and I just couldn't even believe it. But the very next day, um, this came out 86 tops PSA 10. So I'm upgrading my 9. Uh, and this one's a pop of 7. And it actually had a reasonable buy it now price so because uh, I was pretty butthurt about that 85 tops so to get the 86 tops uh, in a 10 as a needed card I was pretty excited about too and this also popped up and uh, anytime I can upgrade my 84 tops I'm good to go because I don't have a, a lot of those to upgrade Fred Dean second or hitting Dan Marino there PSA 10 little sweet card and uh, I never noticed it before because I have about four or five different ones, but this is November 6, 1983. That was my, my second 
second birthday, so I thought that was kind of cool. Um, but only thing I really have to upgrade for the 84s is uh, the two Montanas. No, just the one Montana and maybe like one or two of the other small cards, and they're all, I'll have them all in 10s, uh, which is pretty big. Uh, and then some other random pickups I just got in today. Uh, I got a 91 Tops and a team set or whatever. You know, if these come out in a, in a, a real low deal or whatever, I, I pick those up just to, for more opportunities to get 10s later on when I send them to grade. Got some nice vintage. I've been getting some pretty sweet deals on some vintage lately. Uh, so Joe Arenas, 57 Tops, PSA 8. Um, another 57 out there. Clyde Connor. And an eight. Uh, Dick Magel. Usually goes by Dickie Magel. 56 tops. And an eight. And then uh, pick this one up. I have this one in an eight. Uh, but for about, probably cheaper than when I got the eight in, I got this in a mint one from SGC. And uh, I'm not a big fan of SGC, but. If this is an actual, if this cross grades is a 9, uh, it, I would just be saving wicked amounts of money. So I'm pretty excited to, to try to get that cross grade because I got that for like 20 bucks. So, uh, you know, anything in PSA 9 uh, and 59 tops is worth way more than that. And then uh, I did get to upgrade one of my cards from 85 tops. So excited about that as well. Dwight Clark, PSA 10. So, 85 and 86s are, are tough ones to pull in 10s. Um, just rough looking cards half the time. They're just, you know, they come out of the packs scratched up or whatever. So, pretty excited about that. Um, yeah, so that's my mail day for you. Uh, I got some pretty decent stuff just trying to get settled in here. Uh, got my printer hooked up finally, so I get to start scanning some cards because I keep records of everything. Uh, but,. That's what I got for you. So uh, stay tuned and uh, see you next time. Oh.